Alright. Uh I'll give y'all a quick update. I figured I'll make a little video of it. My phone, which is a iPhone 6S, and I got Verizon. It won't let me update to iOS 13 yet. Well, iMovie is already updated, so I can't mash my clips together with you know the editing. So <clears throat> I'm just not gonna upload them yet until my phone is updated. But I figured I said I was gonna tell y'all why I picked certain brands of modifications. I guess I'll make a quick video over why now. Litech, well, these mirror block offs were just really light and they come with a bunch of different colors. And I wanted to match these and my levers as close together as I could. They are not the same color, but from a quick glance, they pretty much are. Uh, <clears throat> The reason why I picked my windscreen, the Pew Grayson. All right, so Brock made a video not too long ago about why they don't go with aftermarket windscreens for like the drag racing bikes. Is it because you want to make a small of a, you know, an imprint in the air as you can? And if you look at these, these are pretty much a double bubble in the actual shape. But the difference is, since this is cut out, it doesn't quite have the whole double bubble shape. So I figured this would have a little bit less of a, you know, a, there's a word I'm looking for like a resistance coefficient than a regular, like a Corsa or a double bubble. So that's why I went with this windscreen. It's, it, you know, you can get far enough back and feel the proper tuck. The air is pretty well, you know, I don't figure, it's probably not that much of a difference for this much, but I figured I needed everything I could get. So that's why I went with the Pew Grayson. <clears throat> the reason why I still have my screen on is, if you look, I'll be smashing some bugs. And I don't, know. I don't know. I don't want them big ass bugs to end up like directly on top of my filter. The reason why I went with the Pug Racing levers is because I was always looking into like land speed records and all of that. And just nine tenths runs, top end, period. And I remember a while ago, years ago, I remember some of the booster guys were saying and some of the top speed runs, their brake light would come on uh you know at high speeds and it was because the wind resistance was barely pushing back of course this is the clutch side but still the wind resistance would barely push back enough to activate the brake light and if it's enough to activate the brake light you're actually activating your front brakes just a tiny bit so i went with these because they have the relief on them so it doesn't do that yeah i'm not running you know, full out top speed runs, but like our average runs, we run to probably 190. And that's pretty much the speed that everybody was starting to say that they were starting to see the brake lights come on. So that's why I went with these shorty levers. I just prefer shorties. That's why I didn't go with the full length, but that's why I went with these. Uh, <clears throat> the SC project, I wanted a good sound, high quality, and I didn't want Acura, and I didn't, I, I didn't want Graves. So, watching Race Addicts videos, uh, he was always saying, you know, go to SC Slip On, and you got it. This SC Slip On, y'all probably have noticed. A lot of people think that this is the Leo Vinci, but it's not. This is the actual oval race version, which I think I had to wait like two and a half months to get this made. And of course it's Italian, so they made it. And then they had to ship it through, wait for it to clear customs, all of that. That's why, and I wanted a full length can. I didn't want just the um, the other little short ones or the little loud, you know, SC project. I wanted something different. So that's why I went with this. Um, Superbike Unlimited. I actually got this rotor from Mr. 10 R. He, he used it before he went with his delete. And, uh, you know, I wanted to chop a little bit of weight off. So that's why I went with Superbikes Unlimited. I got it for real cheap. I think it sold it to me for like 20 bucks. Uh, moving around. 
my rear sets. The reason why I went with these was at the time I had caught them on sale. I think I caught them for like three hundred and like eighty dollars or something like that. Um, but I did actually like the way that the, the peg is gripped and it's fully adjustable. As you can see, I have this adjusted to the the most aggressive level up, and I set it to where. My toes are pointed, not down. I see a lot of guys, even with GP shift, they're more pointed down. I set it up to where my foot is. If you notice in my pictures, you know, I post occasionally of me tucking, my feet are pretty well perfect. And I wanted it to be like that even when I'm shifting. I didn't want any drag on my feet on either side. Uh, shout out to Race Addict for that little tip. And yes, if you race, have your feet, you know, parallel to the ground and point your toes down and feel it. You can instantly feel a difference. And, you know, wearing resistance is just something to slow you down. So that's why I went with the Vortex. I like the way they look. The adjustment is pretty easy. Um, they were cheap. They look good. So that's why I went with Vortex. Uh, the cap. No real reason why I ended up going with the the keyless cap just because it's I can get out of a place without having to put take my key out, put it in, blah blah blah. You know who knows what might happen. I'd rather have my key in ignition at all times just in case. And uh, that's pretty much it. I did record a a vlog, a motor vlog on. How Race Addict, Nick from Nick's Performance Tuning, and Evan from EJR are the reasons why I got this bike to be as fast as it is uh, with just tips, you know, and little advice. But like I said, that's I can't release that until I have an update for my uh, for my iMovie so I can use it. I could probably download another editing program or something, but iMovie is pretty simple. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's, the main thing is the levers. I wanted some reliefs on the levers. And the pure racing, I wanted something to give you a little bit less of a drag coefficient. And that's why I went with that. That's pretty much it. But stay tuned. I will, as soon as I can, I will definitely upload the vlog. And yes, I did accidentally leave part two of the Canadian trip. Like I said, you gotta wait for Outspoken Tigers video. That was that was some good stuff. But yeah. Oh, I forgot. I almost forgot. And of course, like I said, I showed y'all I have the Brock's lowering link. I didn't go with the soupies at the time because I didn't know about it. Um somebody said the soupies is not quite of as a good piece. I don't know. But I I realized once I went to taking these off, this portion is not needed. It's just something that says Brock's. Um, the main piece is just the actual lower and link, which is that piece. And uh, that was pretty much it. So I got it. I got those. I guess I got the lower and link and the kickstand from Evan for real cheap. So that's why I went with those. And I see a lot of guys getting the Soupies link. I don't know. I can't talk down on the company if I have never tried the product. So that's pretty much it. Anyway, until the next one. Deuce.